PubMed is a major biomedical citation database provided by the National Library of Medicine. In this tutorial, you will learn the various tools that PubMed offers in order to make your search more effective and efficient. It is important to understand that PubMed is a citation database, not a full text database. To obtain a full text, you must access PubMed from the BU Medical Library homepage. The link to PubMed can be found under the Find Article tab, highlighted in green. Sign in using your BU login and Kubernetes password. Once the database recognizes that you are a BU user, it will display a full text link if the article is available. Let's run a simple search. Type mountain sickness in the search box and click search. The search comes back with almost 3400 results. Let's quickly browse the first page. Find citation number 2. We can see very easily why it was retrieved. Our search terms appear right here in the article title. And so is article number 5. Then how about number 6? We don't see search terms here. Click the title to get a detailed view of the article. Here we found that mountain sickness appears in the abstract. That's why the PubMed search engine found this citation. Come back to the list again. Scroll down to find the citation number 15, published in New England Journal of Medicine. We don't see mountain sickness here. Let's click the title. We still don't see our search terms anywhere on the record. So, how did it come up in our search then? Let's come back to the search results. Scroll down to find the search details box on the right. Click see more. Search details shows how the PubMed search engine works. First, to look at the bottom of the screen. Under user query, you will find the words that we type in the search box. Above the, you will see translation. You see that mountain sickness is translated to altitude sickness and tagged with mesh terms. Now let's go back to citation number 15. Click the title to get a detailed view. Below the abstract, find the heading, publication type, mesh terms, and substances. Click on it. We see that altitude sickness is hiding under mesh terms. Now we understand why this record came up in our search. The PubMed search engine was told to find a citation tagged with altitude sickness as its mesh term. Click a term. It gives you three options. You can search PubMed with this mesh term. You can look up this term in the mesh database. You can add this term to your search. Next, let's find out what mesh is and how we can use it to make our search more precise. The link to the mesh database is on the PubMed homepage. Click it. MESH stands for Medical Subject Heading. The MESH terms are keywords that PubMed indexers use to describe a subject of an article. Let's find out how we can use it for searches. Using MESH in a PubMed search is a two-step process. First, identify a term in the MESH database. Type Mountain Sickness. 
and click search. And the message search returns with altitude sickness. This is the term that NLM indexers use to describe mountain sickness. Let's examine the key features of a term in MASH. First, it gives a definition. Next, it gives you subheadings. Subheadings give options to focus on specific aspects of the term. At the bottom of the screen, you will find where the term is located in the MASH hierarchy, also called the MASH tree. Above, you will see various synonyms for altitude sickness. Scroll up. Click Add to the search builder at the upper right corner of the screen. Pay attention to how it is tagged. Now, that's the first step. What's next? That's easy. Click the button below. Search PubMed. We are back to PubMed. Notice the query in the search box. It is altitude sickness tagged with mesh term. The search finds all the articles that have altitude sickness as a subject. We have more than 2,700 results. Let's look at the search detail box. When you use a command search, the search engine does exactly what it is told. It doesn't translate your search terms. Searches are rarely as simple as using one concept. For example, let's say we are interested in the effect of vitamin C in treating the common cold. How do we use MESH when we have two concepts? Let's go back to MESH and find out. We can go to MESH from here. Choose Mesh from the drop-down menu. Unlike PubMed, we cannot create a search string in Mesh like this. We have to find one concept at a time. Let's first find the term for vitamin C. We are back at Mesh. The search shows 10 terms. Click the first one, ascorbic acid. Similar to altitude sickness, it comes with a definition, subheadings, synonyms, and mesh hierarchy. Let's use subheadings this time. Choose therapy and therapeutic use. We are ready to search. Click Add to Search Builder. Notice how the subheadings are attached after MASH term. Also recognize that the terms are combined with OR. Click Search PubMed. The search finds all the articles that have ascorbic acid as subject with subheadings we chose such as therapeutic use or Therapy. Let's go back to MASH and do a search for common cold. Choose MASH from the drop down menu again and type common cold. The first one is what we are looking for. We will not use subheadings for this term. Click Add to Search Builder, then click Search PubMed. We're back to PubMed again. We want to combine this search with the first one, but where did the first search go? To find the previous search, click on Advanced below the search box. The Advanced Search page has two parts. Search Builder and Search History. Using the Search History, we can combine different searches. Click on the search number of ascorbic acid under Search History. Options will show. 
Choose and in the Builder. Notice that the search query is added to search builder. Next, we want to combine it with the common code search. Click on the search number of the common code under the search history. Choose and in builder. The search is now added in the search builder. This search will retrieve articles that have both ascorbic acid and common code as subject. Click search. The search returns with 228 results. All these citations have vitamin C and common code as their subject. Let's learn how to define the result. On the left, you will see the PubMed filter sidebar, which has a default set of filter categories such as article type, text availability, and publication date. To narrow the search results, I will filter for reviews under article type and for those published in the last 10 years. A filter activated message appears. To see other filters, click Show Additional Filters. Select desired categories. I'm going to select all. Click show to close. I will limit the language to English. On the subject, click more to see other options. I will choose complementary medicine. Click show. Notice that the filter is shown, but not applied yet. Click it. Now it is applied. To clear a filter, uncheck it. Notice other filters such as age. The first article looks promising. Click the title to get a detailed view. This is published in the Cochrane database of systematic review. If you want the full text, click on the publishers icon at the upper right corner. Again, we see this icon because we access PubMed through the BU library. If you had gone to pubmed.gov directly, you would not have seen this icon. Click the icon. Now we are at the publisher's site. Let's find the full text icon. Here it is. Now go back to the citation again. If you find an article that is relevant to your topic, you may want to find other articles written by the same author. To do so, click on the author's name. This search will retrieve articles tagged with the same name. Notice that the filter is still on. Click Clear All. Notice the query in the search box. This search looked up the author's last name and first initial. Therefore, it is possible that some articles are written by different authors who have the same last name and first initial. Browsing the list, however, it looks like most of them are written by the same author. If the list brings up many irrelevant citations, you may want to add other search terms. Here, I typed in and common code in the search box. Go back to the citation again. When you find an article you like, you can view similar ones under related citation to the right of the screen.
PubMed searches title, abstract, and mesh headings to find the similar articles. This is a very useful feature of PubMed. Using the advanced search on PubMed, you can search a particular journal. I will demonstrate how to search articles on hot topics that are published in the Lancet journals. I will click Advanced under the search box. I will choose a journal from the drop down menu and type Lancet. In the next box, I will choose Mesh Terms. Instead of typing heart attack, I will type myocardial infection since I happen to know that that's the mesh term for heart attack. Now I'm ready to search. These are all the published articles in the Lancet Journal that have myocardial infection as a subject. Sometimes it takes several weeks for an article to be processed by an indexer. Therefore, recently published articles won't be retrieved by a mesh search. Notice here that the most recent article is from February 2013. To get the most current articles, I will remove the mesh tag. Now let's perform a search. Right away, we see more recent articles on heart attacks that we couldn't retrieve when using the mesh search. To get the most recent publication, you need to rely on a simple search. On the other hand, a mesh search is better for finding relevant and specific articles. Sometimes it is difficult to find a matching mesh term for your search. For example, you are interested in finding an article on reducing rehospitalization and want to find the mesh term for rehospitalization. This search comes back with nothing. In this case, go back to PubMed and do a basic search. Let's find an article that seems to be promising and also indexed. These are too new to be indexed. Go to the next page. Citation number 37 seems to be relevant and also indexed. Click the title. Let's examine the mesh terms assigned to this article. Patient readmission. This is the term that NLM indexers use to describe rehospitalization. When you find a mesh term you want to use, you should check it in the mesh database. In this case, I know this is a correct term, so I will use it to search PubMed. When you perform a mesh search, make sure that the term you choose is the term you want. For example, let's say you are interested in doing a search on depression. At first glance, you may think the first result is what you're looking for. However, if you read the descriptions, you will find that the second one, depressive disorder, might be a better choice. Examining the mesh tree can help you decide which term to choose when doing a search. So let's click depression and scroll down to the bottom of page. Notice depression is located under behavioral symptoms. Now go back to the search result and click depressive disorder 
scroll down to each mesh tree. Here, depressive disorder is located under mood disorders, which is located under mental disorders. This tells us that depressive disorder is a better mesh term for depression. This ends the tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact the reference desk.